Welcome to The Voice of All Things, your premier source for all information regarding the One Piece live action. Recently, there was a news article by the Illuminati that was gaining a lot of traction online and social media because they claim to have some insider information about the live action. So I just wanted to talk a little about the article, see if there's any truth to it, and maybe debunk some of the rumors that are going around. The article is entitled One Piece, New Character Descriptions for the Highly Anticipated Live Action Series. Exclusive. Very long, very clickbaity. Let's delve right into it because honestly, I was a little excited, but uh, there's some things in here that really, really rubbed me the wrong way. They try to start off their article by sounding really official and like they know what they're talking about by quoting something directly from Stephen Maida's Instagram, a post where he talked about returning to work on the series after the hiatus due to, you know, that thing that's been happening all over the world. But immediately after that, the article goes right downhill. After saying that, they say, we here at the Illuminati have discovered character descriptions for the series' regular roles that may surprise fans. They don't say, we have insider information about something or we heard from someone. They just say, we discovered information. Where did they discover this? Did they sneak into an office? Did they hear it from somebody? Well, starting off a little shaky. Then they don't even say where this information pertains to. It's descriptions of the characters, how they would be cast, but we don't know is this what people who are auditioning for the role receive? Is this what network executives receive? What is this information? And in it, we see some fairly accurate descriptions of each of the initial five straw hats, though it is very interesting. And this has been causing a lot of discontent, I suppose the word would be online, because Luffy is said that he should be Brazilian. Zoro is said that he should be Asian. And Usopp, it does say that he should be black. But when it comes to Nami and Sanji, it says they are open to any ethnicity. But is this report to be believed? Well, I find one very interesting break in the logic, and that is in the description of Zoro. It says that Zoro is described in this supposed discovered leak as an 18-year-old Asian man. However, in the next paragraph, they say, according to our sources, Netflix has shown interest in Ludi Lin for the role of Zoro. And how old is he? He's like 34 years old. And honestly, he looks like a 34 year old man. In the article, they use a picture of him that looks very young. But if you were to look up him online, look at some pictures, he does not look like a teenager. He definitely looks like a man in his 30s. And by the time this show actually starts filming, by the time this show gets to season two, three, we're talking about a man in his late 30s almost 40, pretending to be an 18 year old kid. It really isn't gonna fly. It works sometimes with CW shows where they have like a 26 year old, a 25 year old pretending to be a 20 year old, an 18 year old, a 19 year old. This guy is going to be 40 by the time we're in Water 7, more or less, depending on how long Netflix takes to record these things, of course, but it really contradicts with what they just said they discovered. So while this leak is very interesting, I just wanted to bring up that there's a lot of really questionable things about it. And while I'm, of course, the first to jump on any bandwagon of any new One Piece live action news, this article seems like an absolute fraud. However, let's humor this article for a minute. Most notably, I really liked what they said about Sanji. For one, they said Sanji is charming, which I'm not so sure about, but he definitely is flirtatious. And a lot of the other elements they describe in his personality are ones that seem to stand out in the Barati, but I'm not sure are key tenets to his personality. For instance, it's interesting that it says Sanji is always learning and evolving but he is in need of a push to find the next adventure that can bring new experiences and inspirations into his life. And I honestly, I really kind of liked that, even though, you know, obviously later in the series, he doesn't seem to really need a push to do anything anymore. Early on in the story, when we first meet him, he really does need that push, basically a shove and a pull to get off the Brody in the first place. So I just think that that was a very interesting description of Sanji as a character, and it kind of puts him well in a nutshell, at least when we first meet him. The description of Usopp was extremely short. It's basically just Usopp is a storyteller, he's a coward, and he's innovative, which, you know, is good stuff, but nothing uh, mind-blowing. And on Nami, it's very interesting that it says Nami keeps her cards close to the vest, but a secret being revealed threatens to destroy everything she's worked for. And honestly, I really like how that was written. So while earlier I said this whole article absolutely reeks of clickbait and 
fake news. It's kind of well written. So at least I got to give them some credit for that. I don't know where they got this information from and they seem so shady about the way they presented it, but their prose here is fantastic. So good job, Illuminati, at creating a very convincing fake or someone sending them a convincing fake or you know what? Maybe this is real. I doubt it because it's so shady how they present the information, but it's well written. It's well written. Just let us know down in the comments what you thought of the article. Does it seem legit to you? It doesn't to me, but I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Maybe I'm missing something. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Goodbye. Guy go, guy go. Hey there. Don't leave without subbing. Hey there. Don't leave without liking. Hey there. Don't forget to comment. Hit, hit the, the bell, bell, hit the bell, bell hit the bell. bell.